Hello friends, I'm Alex Pali, Ukrainian historian, and now I will tell you about the uh, name of Ukraine, name of Russia and name of Rus. The word Ukraine, Ukraina, first appeared in the Chronicle in 1187. This happened even before the Mongol invasion, which undermines the Russian imperial storyline about a cradle of Ukraine with the Russian people. For a long time, Russia tried to promote the idea that Ukraine, Ukraine was derived from the word Ukraina, outskirts borderland. But in Ukrainian language, there is no such word. This was possible because in conditions of censorship, few researchers even read the chronicles. And in an entry in the Chronicle for 1187 mentions that the Periaslav prince Volodymyr Hlipovich was mourned by all of Ukraine. The Periaslav principality, uh, it is uh, 12th century, was one of the principalities of Rus proper, which included the only principalities of Kiev, Chernihiv, Periaslav, Ukrainian cities and Novgorod cities. Novgorod Siversky, also Ukrainian, uh, at the time. Much of the Pariaslav Principality was farther removed from the border of Rus than Kyiv itself. Therefore, the word Ukraine could not mean the outskirts of the Principality. Most important, it would be absurd to assume that the prince was mourned by precisely borderlands rather than the the entire principality. In the year 1189, the chronicle mentions Prince Rostislav Berladnik that he came to Galician Ukraine. A prince would come to a principality to rule it as one entity rather than some of its border regions. The Galician Volinian chronicle has the following entry for uh, 1213. Danilo returned home and traveled with his brother and accepted Beresti, Ugrovesk, Vereshin, Stolpe, Komov and all of Ukraine. Again, this is a reference not to outskirts, but to entire principality of Zabuzhe uh, with the center of Ugrovesk, now in Volin Oblast. The chronicles also wrote about Polish princes who, after a military expeditions, returned to their Ukraine, to their own principality. Furthermore, there was no principality, state or other entity. Those outskirts could include Chernihiv Ukraine, Siversky Ukraine and all the more so Kyiv Ukraine. The use of the designation Ukraina, Ukraine in the literature form of 12th until the 15th century clearly shows that this term was a synonym for principality and land. The modern Ukrainian word Kraina means country. Therefore, Ukraine is a more recent name for Rus, just like France for Gaul and Spain for Iberia. Before Anglo-Saxon conquest, modern Great Britain was called Britain, then Albion and later England. China changed its name with each subsequent ruling dynasty. Russia was called the USSR, recently the Muscovite Kingdom, uh, Zalesia, Suzdal in earlier times. As of name of Rus, Many historians now, and me too, believe that the name Rus comes from the Sarmatian tribe of Roxolani, which settled in central Ukraine to the south of Kyiv, starting from the second century before Christ. In this region, there are rivers with such names as Ros, Roska, Rossava, Rostovitsa, Rutets, etc. Very picturesque places. Since ancient times, Rus was the name applied only to central Ukraine, the Kyiv, Chernihiv and Periaslav principalities. 
territory of modern Kyiv, Zhitomir, Chernihiv oblasts and part of Sumy, Cherkasy, Vinnytsia and Poltava oblasts of Ukraine. Starting from the 12th century, it was extended to include Western Ukraine. Prist princes believed that Rus was their homeland or patrimony. The other dependent territories they are thought of as being subject to Rus, Zalesia, etc. As of name of Russia, Russia. In Muscovy itself, the term Russia, the term Russia, Russia began to be used in reference to their country by the authorities as late as in the 15th century. Then the idea of seizing Ukraine's lands began to circulate in Moscow. This word is taken not from Slavonic, but from Greek language, because it was common knowledge at the time that Rus was the territory of Ukraine. Muscovy was finally renamed as Russia by the Tsar's Ukazes in 18th century. Most Ukrainian scholars believe that, that the Ukrainian language, this is special features, was formed on the basis of ancient Slavic dialects under some influence from the Scythian and Sarmatian languages at the time of Antian tribal union uh, in the middle of the first millennium after Domini. There were no Slavs in the territory of either modern Russia or modern Belarus at the time. In contrast, the Russian language was formed in the 12th uh, to the 14th century, centuries as the local, largely Finno-Ugric population learned Church Slavonic, which was imposed by the Church and the authorities. Present-day Russians mostly are descendants of these Finno-Ugric peoples, Meria, Muroma, Mishora, Moksha, uh, etc., about 15 peoples. At present, most rivers in central Russia and many Russian cities in central Russia, including Moscow, have Finno-Ugric names. In imperial times, Ukrainian was viewed by official Moscow as a Polonist version of Russian, but it was only propaganda. This proposition is utterly unscientific because Ukrainian features were found in the language of Kievan Rus long before any Polish influence. Importantly, standard uh, Ukrainian is based on the vernacular spoken in the Poltava and Chernigiv regions. These territories, they are part of Poland in 1569-1648 uh, years, less than one century. And after this short period of time, many people there did not have to deal with the Polish authorities to say nothing of changing the language of their ancestors. Ukrainian has been able to withstand much greater centuries-long pressure from Russia. Uh, and the written sources in Ukraine dating to uh, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 centuries do not record any changes in the language. So, best wishes and good luck to all of you, friends.